Hi guys and welcome back to another video. My name's Destiny and I do book things here and I am joined by a sleepy tree frog and a Salem. Um, you can hear her but you can't see her. She's on the other side of the camera meowing at me. Um, so today we're going to do my anticipated, most anticipated for the first two months of the year. Um, I'm hoping to put these out bi-monthly which I think is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I've waited, I filmed this like early October and I can't find the footage anywhere so we're redoing it. Um, it, one of the books, the first book on my list does come out today at the day I'm filming it which is January the 4th and that book is The Maid by Nina Pose, 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. Um, from what I understand this is basically The Maid is blamed for, she finds a body and is blamed for the murder and now she has to like prove her innocence and my question to this is why why is she blamed like she's the maid of course she found the body when she went in to clean like why are they blaming her there has to be more of this story than just she found the body now they think she's the killer like she there's more to that than just she found the body so she's the killer um next just a second next is Reck reckless girls by rachel hawkins that also comes out today the fourth um so this is basically this woman who owns a boat is hired to take this woman this other woman and her boyfriend no sorry i'm reading my notes um so the plot is that the woman there's a woman and her boyfriend who are hired to take two women out to a remote island island and it turns deadly who dies? Who killed them? Like, is this island haunted? Um, is it, does it have natives, native, you know, native people on it that are killing people? What's going on here? Like, I am intrigued. Um, most of these, honestly, I read the first line of the synopsis and was like, okay, I'm sold. I need that in my life. Um, next comes out on the 11th of January, and that is Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. Um, I actually just watched be wrong i've watched like a lot of her vlogs i love her vlogs she's also in texas um she just read she was reading this in her vlog and has not put out the vlog with her thoughts but she was loving it um she got it from book of the month and so this one is these teenage girls in her hometown had six teenage girls went missing her father was sitting in jail and um her father uh, her wedding's coming up in a week before her wedding it starts happening again and her father has gotten out of jail and it's basically does not explain did her father kidnap these women like is he in jail for that what is he in jail for it doesn't really say um and so our main character kind of goes on a on a hunt to figure out is her father doing this why is this re-repeating itself what's going on i'm super excited for that one Next, that comes out on February the 15th, is The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. I read The Guest List by her, and actually, I didn't care for it. I think I gave it like three stars. Um, it was a time in my life where I was really depressed. So I would love to go ahead and, like, and reread and see what I think. Um, I thought it was very smart. It had multiple POVs. Um, it's a locked door murder. The, there's a wedding party that's on this island. <coughs> And all of a sudden, somebody ends up dead. You don't know who's dead. You don't know who killed them. You don't know really what's going on. The reveal was actually a really good one. Um, and how it all was related was really, really good. And for a little while there, I thought maybe there was a ghost. So honestly, I gave it three stars, but it was actually pretty decent. Um, this this one is about a woman who moves into her stepbrother's apartment looking for a fresh start and finds him missing and his neighbors seem to know more than they're letting on and won't tell her like when last time they were that they you know they saw him or you know really won't give her any information and so she says out to figure out what happens to her brother and my last one of this the first two months is a sky of breath or a sky of or house of sky and breath baby jesus house of sky and breath by sarah j mass i have pre-ordered this um, my, my father, who I love to pieces, ended up giving, um, all of us hardcore cash for Christmas. Um, he and my mom, my mom usually buys presents and they're from all of them, but my mom always buys presents for us and he usually goes 
the night of like Christmas Eve and just buys us a whole bunch of stuff he thinks we need and brings us in Walmart bags like it's a whole thing and he loves getting us gifts himself even though my mom has done this and he like helps with that he likes going and doing for us himself um this year he did for a little bit back here um the uh my her cousin my sister just also had a baby he'll be he's a month old today um and like he did for the extended family is how I like to put it so like my cousins um my sister's better halves the babies and stuff and he didn't do it for us girls and we couldn't figure out why um us three older girls and so he finally just like hey by the way I cashed out y'all all money here's your Christmas and I looked at him and I go thank you I'm ordering my book and he immediately sat there and pre-ordered it he goes you're doing what I go I'm pre-ordering a book and he goes pre-ordering I was like yeah he goes so it's not gonna get to you today I was like no no I have to wait two months for it and he goes why would you do that? I go, because I get the book. I was like, Daddy, come February, I will forget I ordered this book that I pre-ordered it. And it'll be just like a Christmas day for me all over again when I come home. And there's the book on the front porch. And he started laughing. He goes, of course, of course, it's Christmas day for you. And so I pre-ordered this one. It comes out on the 15th of February. I believe as well um my notes do not ha does not have the date but I'm pretty sure it's the 15th of February as well um and your girl is beyond excited um I am toying with the idea of rereading Crescent City but I know if I reread it I'm not gonna want to read anything else the rest of this month like literally I'm not gonna want to read anything else this month I'm just gonna want to live in Crescent City until I get a house of sky and earth or sky or sky and breath um which Crescent City is titled house of earth and blood is the name of that um the, the whole series is called Crescent City but anyways I will want to live in that series for the rest of the month um and I can't because I don't have the second one in my hand so but but uh I am so excited for all five of these um there are a lot more coming out in January and February. I will leave a couple videos tagged below of other creators who have done most anticipated for the year or most anticipated for the first quarter um, so that you can get some of their recommendations as well. I have been in a really thr thrillery mood. That's why most of these are thrillers. Um, thrillers and smut are the two things I seem to be wanting to read this year. Or this, this like last month or two. Um, so yeah. Uh, that is all. If you want to know what I am reading in January, go back. I will leave it pinned above. Um, I do have my January TBR should be up before this. Um, yeah, and I will see you on my next one. Bye, guys.